man, did you how was it a W for you? In, in in the light of the situation, like coming out of it, were you like the type of person who was like, "Damn, KD, you fucked up," or was you? Did you grow more respect? Because I know for me, I grew way more respect for KD after the whole thing. I mean, to me, it didn't really change the way I felt about KD. I've always been high on KD, but I mean, it was just funny because Michael Rappaport he always tries to troll, right? So now KD's in his DMs, basically pressing the That's issue. That's his job, by the way. That's the his troll? job, like trolling. All Michael Rappaport does is talk shit about famous people, hoping to get a reaction out of famous people, and then that's how he built his clout. So, like, if you in the business of shit talking, you gotta be in the business of receiving it too. Yeah, that's what and I'm he saying. can't like, take it. That's cool. Like, you can that can be your job to troll and like say these things about these athletes, but you gotta remember you're not you're not Shaq or Charles Barkley. You're not a, a legend. Like Shaq and Charles Barkley could say these things, and at the end of the day, they're gonna have private conversations with these players because they all respect each other to a certain extent because they're from the same fraternity. Michael Rappaport is just some actor who, who appears really, on like undisputed. Who, here yeah, and there he's and always talk on shit. sports shows. He can't get an acting gig. So now he's trying to. Yeah. Be a and he always got that, that stupid word or herpes on his mouth, man. Like, why would you go in public with the biggest <laughs> Fucking herpes this right man, here. He's an asshole. Have you seen all his pictures? Like no, when he's like, he went on the red carpet with that. I would have called off. I would have been like, you know what? I'm That'll sick. Be, I'm not going to show up. Look. I've never actually I'm, noticed bro, it, to be honest. Bro. If we're being honest. Bro. I'm okay. Really here, here. I don't pay attention to him that much. Okay. All right. But like, would, okay, if you had that big old herpes right on your lips, would you walk the red carpet? Because I ain't, I ain't taking a day off. I would get some of I'm that. I'm okay. What's that okay. stuff? Oh, the makeup? No, not the makeup, that little cold sore shit. I would get that shit for it. True. Um, yeah, but it can only do so much. I mean, when you when you when you walking around rocking this on your face, I don't oh, think uh, fuck. Yeah. Look at that. It like it got a whole life on his face. It has his own life. Look at that. He's 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 at a series XM show. Like oh. carpet event. That's a big radio station. Yeah, don't troll me if you got that on your chin. Walking around with that. <laughs> yeah, you can't talk shit about me if you got that Man. on your chin. No, nah, that's disgusting. It's disgusting. But Just I mean, going bare public with that shit. Like, but, but back to what he said to KD, I don't, I don't know what he really expected. Like, you can't just constantly talk shit. And and everybody knows KD right. is not the one to shy away when it comes to the internet. It don't, it don't matter if you're a fan or anybody. If you say something sideways to him, he's going to, yeah. on the social media, and I he's going to re- tell you how you feel. So, I don't know. Michael. I think Michael Rappaport takes the L in the sense that he exposed the messages like, yeah. you, don't, you don't have to expose That's the message. Snitch. Basically, yeah, you snitch. But snitch you was talking one, shit first, and then you snitch, and now you're talking about you feel unsafe or whatever because he threatened you. All he did was right. say he was going to spit on you. That's it. He could have said worse. He could have. He could have said, said I'll shoot you or something. He said, I'll just. Gonna, yeah, he's not that yeah. dumb. He know you got a career, yeah. but he could have said worse. I, yeah. And then, like, you know, I think what's worse is that um, his responses to KD. He's always like, why don't you, um, the, the responses are so whack. Like, I hate his responses. Like, why don't you go to Brownsville and help the kids that need a goofball? You he's know, saying that, like, like KD shit. and all these MP- athletes don't do charity. Right. And so you, know what what, you know what? You know what I hate. You know what I hate about. I hate so, it when he when I saw that low key like I was like, what is he even talking about? Right, that makes no sense. But you know what I hate about some white folks in the uh, in the media? Like they try to kiss ass so much and try to like uh, get some get some street. Can I say this? Like black cred? Is that? No, you're right. It, yeah, yeah. Okay, you're right. They're yeah, trying to get the cool points with the with the with, culture with, with, with the, the black, black community. They try so no, hard, right. and especially Michael Rappaport. He's always. He's always on his IG doing his stupid fucking walk, talking about some rap music stuff, talking about nothing but African-American rappers or athletes and shit. Always trying to act and seem like he ain't fucking racist. But, like, he don't give a fuck. He's trying to use the culture just to, like, make his name. And he's trying to just make it seem like, oh, I'm real hip. Like, I'm a white guy from New York. Like, he's really, like, trying to play this New Yorker vibe. And I'm like, bro, I I see right through your little New York. You ain't New Yorker. That's why I got him muted on Twitter and all these social medias. I was sick of seeing, like, even if it's from, like, other famous sports people that I follow. Right. I was just sick of seeing Michael Rappaport's name pop up on my T.O. So he's muted. Right. I don't see shit that he posts anymore. The only reason I know about this is is because um, KD was involved. 
Yeah, I don't see it. So, but like, hey, man, Katie, bro Katie, Katie went ham on the DM. He said, "I heard, I heard it all before you, cunt." Chuck <laughs> doesn't need a uh, security pale pasty come <laughs> glizzing bitch. I'm yeah, like, was, wow. <laughs> I, I swear I'm going to spit on your face when I see your, your dirty, dirty ass. ass. I'm That's like, funny. man. That, that part right there, that had me dead. Man, like, but you know what? They both live in New York. That could happen. Maybe one day you fucking walk down the street and suddenly you fucking bump each other because New York ain't that fucking big. I feel Katie, though. Like, Katie really just be chilling, minding his business. And right. He just be getting hate for no reason. So I'll be feeling him, man. Yeah. Niggas need to start leaving KD alone and just let I that see, man hoop. I see nothing wrong with him res- making another fucking Twitter account, responding to fans, you know. I see nothing wrong with that. I'm like, yo, for KD, he's single. He ain't got a family. All he does is ball. Yes, he, he got a lot of time on his hand. So if a man want to come back, clap back, I'm like, go, bro, go ahead. Yeah. I always see he's like Stephen A or something. It's like, you'll be honest. It's like, nah, what if you enjoy it? Like, if, you get a ki- yeah. if, if he gets a kick out of saying some shit, Shutting down some fans for saying stupid shit. Man, I don't I, see no wrong with that. I think that way too. Like I try not to let shit get to me, but like, man, fuck being beyond shit. Sometimes you just can't let people just be talking down on your name. Sometimes you have to defend your name. Right. So I get the shit that KD does. Like I'm not. I don't be mad at it. Like even if people say, "Oh, he's going over the line. He's going too far." Well, people are always disrespecting him. At some point, if you constantly disrespecting someone, they're gonna break. Yeah. So I don't know what people expect. They expect him to just sit back. And constantly just let people talk about him, call him whatever. Everybody calls KD he's soft. He he has fake rings, whatever you want to call it. Like yeah, at some point he he sees all this stuff. He has a social media. He's gonna see all this. It's gonna affect him. We're all human at the end of the day. So right, and like, don't look at it that way. And like coming out of this situation, like I don't see how Michael Rappaport can talk any more shit. He constantly is the guy who talks the shit, but then get bitched out, and then like especially. With him and Dave Poynoy, this dude really tried to get lawyered up and sued him for basically def- defamation of character as a as a reason as to why he's fucking uh he's trying to sue Poynoy. Because they said he had that little STD on his chin. Right? No, 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 no. Yeah, look, I'll show you this little clip right here with Dave. But um, basically, what it is is um, is he got he got fired. And um, he started talking shit about Dave, and then Dave started making like T-shirts, mm-hmm. like uh, that really like fucked with him. And then he—that's the reason why he starts suing Dave. And Dave, oh, so so pretty much he he got a taste of his own medicine, basically. And, and he he, like he lawyer he, he he lawyered up, and like, uh, and like it's just what show how much yeah, it's just like man, like uh, you you're not allowed to talk shit anymore because. The next, the next thing you're going to do once somebody revolt and do something back at you unexpectedly or whatever, or like be exceed the point where you um, can handle it, you just going to fucking sue them? Like, what kind of bitch move is that, you know? You know, that's soft. I mean, especially the type of dude that Rappaport portrays himself to be. Right. You can't just be... Which is a white guy who's just um, trying to be black as much as possible. That too, but not even that. He just well, yeah. He tried to portray that tough guy, that machismo, yeah. that oh, I'm down with the culture. If you're gonna, right? If you're gonna portray that type of that, that's your personality or that's who you are, then you can't just be soft. Getting all yeah, getting all soft when stuff don't go your way or lawyering up because someone's saying that, like, making fun of the way you look because you do it to people all the time. Yeah, I don't want to see his ass on undisputed anymore with a stupid herpes by his lips talking <laughs> any more shit. Even about LeBron. I don't really like LeBron, but he, yeah, he can't be talk. hating on LeBron. He be hating on LeBron, man. He be hating like, on LeBron so are bad. What talking about? I'm like, do you even, have you even picked up a basketball and actually played before in your life? Yeah, no. To I be think, able to even talk? I think when he goes on Undisputed, him and Skip just really drive the narrative home that they hate LeBron. And I'm like, okay, enough is enough. Shut the fuck up and roll with it because that's the only thing you ever going to say. Michael Rappaport, he a loser. I always thought he was a loser. Yeah. I never Is he even him. funny? I never find anything he does funny. The only thing I ever liked that he did was this one little scene in uh, Next Friday when he was the mailman. Other than that, I've never really looked at stuff where he's the main character. I don't I've really... never even seen him in a movie. Yeah, I don't, I don't. I've seen Friday. I don't even remember him. I've seen, I've seen him in like, I've seen cameos of him in movies. I've never seen a movie where he's like a main character or the lead right. character. I've never seen I don't it. even know how he makes his money. Like, does he even have a special? He's an actor. 
I thought they I thought they say he's a comedian as well. Okay, yeah, he's a comedian. He probably does stand up. We could be we let me do my research. Let's not do this. I no, I, they he said actor and comedian. I'm like, what kind of comedian? Like, yeah, so are, if he if he's a comedian, then yeah, he probably does stand up or skits and stuff. Maybe he was like he used to be a Saturday night live. No, uh, no, no. He I don't not, know, he's bro. he's not that big. Let's let's ca- let's calm down. Let's not give him <laughs> a, a that much clout. Uh let's see. Oh, he was on prison break. Okay. Not that big of a show. Prison Break? I didn't even watch that show. I know that was a bit. Hitch? He was in Hitch. I remember he was in Hitch. Mm. Oh, I'm stupid. I'm not about to disrespect Michael Rappaport. Higher Learning. Higher Learning. Uh, yeah, yeah, the, yeah, uh, yeah. That old movie with um Ice Cube in them. Yeah, he was in okay. Higher Learning. So He was all right. He but a, back in the day, yeah, when he was younger, he did a lot of shit, but now he don't really do shit. No. Now he just, he just no. does his daily morning walk, probably like little old yeah. people stretch and then talk some shit uh, like an old person. Uh, but nah, he needs to stop that shit before uh, KD spit on your ass, Michael. Because <laughs> I think KD will. He much taller, so it'll reach. I think he will. It just reach quicker. He don't got to spit up. He'll just spit right down at you. 